everybody, how's it going? Ryan with Rigs of Death Metal here. Today we are checking out this Cauldron pickup set from Wittershins Pickups. Let's hear it. Okay guys, now that you got a chance to hear these pickups in a mix, we'll talk about it a little bit. Um, so these are the Cauldron set from Wittershins Pickups, as previ previously stated. They use a Alnico 2 magnet. Um, the output on the bridge is 12.5k, neck is 11k. Um, you know, little spec wise. They're supposed to be, uh, you know, a little less output than, say, something a little more typical, like a Seymour Duncan JB. But personally, I, I don't really notice like a, a weaker tone or anything like that. Um, they definitely have a different character, and I'm sure a lot of that has to do, I guess, partly the lower output, but also an Alnico 2 magnet versus Alnico 5. Again, using the uh, Duncan JB as sort of a reference point since it's such a common pickup. Um, these have a little bit less of a metallic or a little less percussive an attack, and it's a bit more organic sounding. I don't. I hate using marketing buzzwords, but um, yeah, not sure else how to describe it. Uh, of course, dual blade, as you can clearly tell, which, uh, I don't, I don't know if it's purely an aesthetic and psychosomatic thing, but, uh, I, I just have a fondness for blade magnet pickups. Um, I've heard plenty of other people say it tends to kind of make the high end a little less harsh, which I don't, again, don't know how true that is, but worst case scenario, they at least look really cool. Um, this was a project guitar that has taken me a lot longer than I thought it would. Uh, this bolt-on BC Rich Eagle. 
Um, it was a gift to my oldest son from his late grandfather. So it had uh, kind of a cheesy graphic on it, but you know, we, uh, we took it apart and, you know, stripped it down, repainted it. And, uh, just about that time, Wittershins Pickups was kind enough to send me a set and even did it in our signature colors, the black and green, which, uh, I'll, I'll throw in some still shots in here too. They have like a really cool texture. Um, they, uh, 3d print everything in house. Uh, even the base plates, which I can't, can't really show you here, but even the base plates are green and match the aesthetic of the top, which I mean, You'll never really see them once they're installed, but hey, it's cool to know it's there. Like, the little attention to detail uh, just really makes a big difference. Um, but yeah, I, I can't thank them again for sending this out. This is such a fun guitar now. This is going to be the E standard, uh, E flat standard, you know, kind of kind of shredder. Basically, sort of an 80s thrash, an 80s shred, maybe a little hair metal guitar. Um, but yeah, I'll let you hear a little bit of it. <laughs> probably slightly out of tune and I'm using a Kemper profile of the uh, Omega Granifier but yeah um, very happy with this build very happy with these pickups they sound phenomenal they don't sound like anything else in my collection uh, which is good um, every time I try to install something I like to do something a little different um, even as an EMG artist I try to get a different set for every guitar so but yeah, that's about all I have to say about these. Um, thank you again, Wittershins Pickups, for sending these out to us. Uh, these retail... Let me see. How professional. Yeah, um, these retail at $119 a pickup, uh, which for a, a completely custom hand-wound pickup, uh, it's not bad. And pretty much everything in their line, which they have... They have about a half dozen different models or so, depending on just whatever your taste is. And even currently running uh, this fun promo for Mystery Packs. Um, it's like $90. And it's you know, kind of like a trading card Mystery Pack. Um, you choose like an output range and a Necker Bridge position and pay the $90 and you get just kind of a random I mean it's fun <laughs> but yeah uh, leave any comments questions what have you down below and uh, I appreciate your time thank you all see you next time <laughs>